Hello, my name is Jameer Jones Gatlin, and this is my auto mathology. Um, today I'll be talking about a little bit about me, the previous courses I've taken, uh, my favorite courses, my hardest courses, my research topic, my plan of the graduation. So a little bit about me, my name is Jameer. Um, I'm a junior applied mathematics student, and I am from Kenton, North Carolina. Uh, I was originally a chemical engineering student coming here. I took a couple chemistry courses, which I actually enjoyed, but then I took some engineering courses, which kind of steered me away from the engineering path. So um, I ended up choosing applied mathematics after that. And um, back in high school, I played a little bit of baseball and basketball. And nowadays, in my free time, I bowl a little bit. So the previous courses I took, um, so Math 105, which teaches a lot about the math bases that you can forget about, and also um, more opportunities and jobs that you can actually do as a mathematician, which was really helpful, because I was thinking like, what can you really do with this? So I actually took Math 105 before I changed my major. So that, um, that helped me change my major, because then I saw more opportunities I could do besides like just teaching. Um, then we have Math 131 which uh, taught about limits, continuity, derivatives. Uh, then you have Math 132, which gave a deeper understanding of integrals, application of them, and then sequence in the series. Uh, Math 215, which was like the use of LaTeX, so that was pretty cool seeing how you can you know, write papers and do math equations using coding. And it showed uh, more resources, just like Math 105. Then you got Math 224, which just is an introduction to statistics. Uh, you got 231, which is Calc 3, which was the um, it introduced the z-axis third dimension and it reminded me a lot of calc one but i just felt like you know you just added z into it so that was pretty nice then um got math 341 you know it went deeper into um differentiation math 351 taught them more about linear algebra and matrices and then you have math 43 432 we learned about the heat equation wave laplace and then the Fourier and the cautious theorem So my favorite courses, uh, Math 31 was definitely one of them. I actually took this course in high school, so when I came here, it, was, it wasn't it was really too difficult, but um, I actually enjoyed it a lot because my professor, which is Dr. Tangersley, she did a great job teaching it. And also, it, um, since I've taken the course already, and I was kind of, I feel like I was pretty good at it, I helped a lot of other students in my class. So it kind of showed me like, okay, maybe I can tutor or teach a little bit in the future. And then on um, Math 432, I just took this last semester. Um, this is probably the highest level math I've taken, so I was a little concerned about it. I thought, you know, this might be a really big challenge for me, but it actually came very easily. So it was nice knowing that, you know, I can do higher level math courses. And then Math 105, like I said, um, this was like the first time I was actually around other math majors. And it also showed me like a lot of opportunities and jobs I can do going into the future. So I really enjoyed that class. You know, it was just nice being around other people that actually enjoy math like I do. Um, my hardest courses, Math 132. Uh, I was good like the whole first half of it, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be you know easy A. Then we got to the back end with the series and sequences, and I was just just going through it the whole time. So that was a bit strong for me. And then Math 351. Uh, at the beginning, we had learned how to reduce the matrices. To me, I felt like it was just random stuff just being thrown out there. I never could figure it out. And as they just kept going on, the first step of everything was like, oh, reduce the matrix, reduce the matrix. So I was just like, I don't know what to do here. So um, that, was a, that was a big struggle for me, but I persevered. And then for my research topic, um, I haven't really looked too much into it, but I, uh, I plan to go into data analytics whenever I um, get out of school. So I definitely want to do something that surrounds data analytics, of course, so I can get a better understanding and maybe figure out more of what I would actually like to do. Um, for it, I'm hoping that, um, yeah, I'm just hoping that it just helps me figure out if I actually want to do data analytics. But, you know, I'm doing applied mathematics so that my focus area can be statistics. So the classes are already helping me kind of figure out that I actually do want to do data analytics. And then my plans after graduation, I plan to attend grad school here at ANC. 
So um, I'm glad you said that. That actually <laughs> made me feel better about coming here. So um, I'm still deciding if, after I get my master's if I would like to get my PhD or if I would like to just go right into the data analytics field. The main reason I would possibly get my PhD is how I feel more comfortable if I wanted to become a professor later on in my life. And um, as far as the data analytics go, my dream job would be to um, be a data analyst for a sports team. When I was taking Stats 224, we had a we had a discussion board, and on the video, one of the videos was a lady who was a um, data analyst for the 76ers. So I found it pretty cool because I'm not a sports guy, so you know I didn't really think I could be able to tie math into sports, but seeing that really interested me, and I feel like with me knowing a lot about sports already, I can just easily be able to put the data and know how to make sense of it. And that is all.